Well, praise the Lord, saints. God bless you again today. I thank God for you. Appreciate the Lord for His mercy, His goodness, His kindness. We want to thank Him for giving us another day, for raking us up this morning, clothing us in our right mind. Thank God He has given us a mind to continue to confess Him, believe in Him, to accept Him, to acknowledge Him. In all our ways, and I thank God for that mind He has given us to put a fence about our mind. You know, when we lay down at night, we ask the Lord to be a fence about our mind. Raise us up the next day. Stand God over us. And raise us up the next morning, clothing us in our right mind. And I thank God for him you know, for watching over his word, to seeing about it, and doing what we asked him. We, I, I, I thank God for all of you. I pray that you ask him the same. And I pray, pray that you really appreciate him and you let him know you thank him and you really appreciate him. You striving to try to honor him and give him all the praise and all the thanks and all the glory. Because he's worthy of it. Yeah, I appreciate it. I, I pray that you're holding on tonight. You're still holding on to Jesus. That ain't nothing changed your mind since the last time we gathered together. Since the last time you heard my voice. I pray that ain't nothing changed your mind. Cause you to turn from Jesus. The, the Bible says there ain't no weapon that formed against us. You're prophet. So we pray that we're all well with you. And all well with your family. We thank God. We're going to go in prayer for a moment. We're going to hold you on tonight for God's will. And we're going to go in prayer and ask God if he would just bless the service tonight. That bless our ear to hear what the Spirit say. And let it reach our hearts. And let it be a benefit to us some kind of way. Because, you know, we need the help of the Lord. Now, in these, in these days and time, we need the help of the Lord. We need God's strength. So we pray that God will speak with us tonight. That's something that will help us. Holy Father, thank you tonight. Mighty Jesus, I thank you for having the upper hand. I thank you for being in control. I believe this. And I believe this, Lord. You told us that all power in heaven and in earth was given unto you. Now, Father, I believe it. I believe, Jesus, absolutely, that you have all power in heaven and earth. And, Lord, I try to bow before you the best of my ability. To, the way that I know how I try to bow before you and give you thanks. I always try to confess that, Jesus, sometimes when I'm you know, by and before when you give me a thing, like, I don't feel very spiritually minded, but you told us we walk by faith. I confess that by faith. I believe it. I accept it in my heart. God. I don't, a lot of time I don't be feeling that your spirit when I be speaking is, but God, I believe it. I accept it. I confess it. I accept you, Lord, as my deliverer, my heal, my everything, my all in all. And I bow before you and I thank you today, Lord, for Bring them through this day, Lord. Keeping the people in mind. Watching over their children. And just blessing them and sustaining them. And Lord, we want to give you honor tonight. Lord, the best that we can do. Speak to our hearts tonight, Lord. Give us utterance to speak you. Yeah. I pray, give me the hearts and minds of those that'll be tuning in. Lord, let this word go out there and let it reach those that you have it reach. Even some, Lord, that may pull in this service and I'm Listen to it later on. They may not be tuned in now. Got some some of them may pull up by mistake or just going through Facebook or YouTube and it pops up and they maybe stop and take time and listen to it. Father bless them. Let this word go out, Lord, where, where you designed for it to go. And you told us it would not come back to your boy. And Lord, we believe we stand on that. And we give you thanks. In Jesus' name. Praise God. We thank the Lord tonight. I thank God for for you. Appreciate you tuning in tonight, those of you are tuning in. We pray this all the way of what you pray. We thank God that you still have a mind to you know, cleave. We got a, the Bible says all that was out there in the world was the lust of the eye and the lust of the flesh and the pride of life. And the Bible says, what other father does the world? And the world folks going to pass away. So I thank God for what he has done for us, the place that he has brought us to and the place he has brought us from. Um, you know, lovers of the world, you know, we used to really love the world, but I think we may not even got this fully, but thank God for where he had brought us from. Thank God he had brought us to this place where we can acknowledge him and confess him and believe on him. And I thank the Lord for that tonight. I appreciate my family. We're praying for each and every one of your family. The Lord will do something for them. We've been praying lately about God to touch our younger kids, grandkids, and and just pull them in there. 
And you be praying with me that God somewhere will touch me. That. Let them start giving Jesus some of their time. Start acknowledging him. The Lord has been too good to all of us for us to, to, for us to neglect him. So I want you to be in prayer with me about our grandkids and some, some of your kids and, and the great grandkids that the, the Lord will touch their minds on and let them, if they just come in the house of God and begin to acknowledge him, you know, let them know they appreciate what he's done. They may not be saved, but at least they, they did not God. Who knows? That may lead to salvation. Praise God. So we thank God for you. We're going to go to the Word here, and we'll thank God for you. If you got the Bible, you read along with us. Are you still holding on? I know sometimes I see on the thing where you say, I'm still holding on. But that's the right thing to do in these days is to hold on. Thank God. If you can't go forward, hold on. Don't let go of your hold. That song says, I'm just holding on, and I won't let go of my faith. Hold on, folks, and don't let go of your faith. Thank God. From the book of Matthews, chapter 1, I'm going to be ministering tonight on all of Jesus' promises is yes. It's yea. It's yes. All of Jesus' promises is yes. From the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verses 18 through 23. Thank you, Father. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise when as his mother was espoused to Joseph before they came together she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. Then Joseph, her husband being a just man and not willing to make her a public example was minded to put her away privately. But while he Thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife, for that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Ghost. Listen, and she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people. From their sin. Now all this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call this name Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Now listen, the angel told Joseph, Listen, he's going to call this name Jesus, because he's going to save his people from their sin. Salvation is in Jesus. This, this word Jesus, this name Jesus, uh, uh, the Lord gave that to, to the angel gave that to Job because the word Jesus in the Hebrew is means Savior. Jesus means Savior. He is our Savior. He said, You clear call his name Savior. But when it says in the Bible, call the name, you just call him Jesus. And Hebrew word means Savior because he's going to save. Jesus come down, folk, to save us. That's who he is. That, that's what his name is. Savior. And the angel told him that you call him Jesus for he shall save his people from their sin. And he went on down and said, uh, Isaiah prophesied, shall call him Emmanuel with me and interpret is God with us. Let me tell you something now. Jesus, he's God with us. Don't the Bible never say that. He's God with all the power. The scriptures say in heaven and in earth Jesus has been given into my hand. Isaiah prophesied, so you call him Emmanuel, which being interpreted is God with us. Jesus is God with us. All the fullness, I may read it, of the Godhead dwells in Jesus bodily. He is the Savior. He come down there, there's no salvation, and nobody else but Jesus. I know we preached it, but the Bible said we got to hear it and hear it. Peter said, I stir up your pure mind by way of remembrance. So we keep hearing this stuff because the devil got a way of coming in and trying to snatch that out at the seed that was sown by the way, try to snatch that away. So we keep hammering this, keep manifesting it, that Jesus is our only way. He's that Savior. Ain't nothing else, ain't nobody else can save you. She shall bring forth the Son and call his name, and you shall call him Joseph, Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. 
He's the way, folk, the truth, and he's the life. And I pray you don't get tired of me talking about Jesus. But let me tell you something. I don't know another whole people right now. They're reaching out. They need God. need a, a deliverance from the Lord. They need a miracle from the Lord. You know what? And that deliverance, that miracle, that help, that strength is only in one name. Only in one man. Whatever you, it, 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 it ain't no help out there. No way else. And I pray we don't get tired of, of, of calling on him. I don't think Jesus gets tired of us calling on him. But he's going to save his people from their sin. How I many know we need saving from our sin? And our, our salvation is going to come. I think actually it ain't no salvation, no other name, but, but the name of Jesus Christ. So he said, listen here. Joseph, don't be fearful that they marry into yourself or a wife go. That which is born of her is the Holy Ghost. And you should name him Jesus, Father. He shall save his people from their sin. Jesus is the way for the truth and the life. I don't want to lay down without him. I don't want to get it without him. I don't want to do nothing without him. And I don't believe we can call on his name too much. I, I don't believe. Because every turn, every situation, everything, you need him there by your side. You need him to be there. Honor his word. He said, I won't leave you. Neither will I forsake you. I'll be with you always. What did Jesus say? I won't leave you. I won't forsake you. I'll be with you always until the end of always. We need Jesus there with us always. Don't be tired of calling his name. Don't even get tired of hearing his name being called because you're, every turn you need Jesus. Every situation you're going to need Jesus. This is the name that the devil respect. This is the name that the devil bowed down. The devil had to bag off, bag away. In the name of Jesus. So, I'm not tired of it. Man, I need him. I need him every day. I call him every day. I, I'm not tired of this name. I'm proud that there's a name given. I'm proud that God give us a name that we can use. Giving us a name, thank God, that the devil respect. I, I appreciate God for doing that. Because the devil don't respect our name. He don't respect our position, our authority. It's the name of Jesus Christ that this devil respect. And I thank God but giving us this name, putting a name in the midst of us, thank God that the devil had to respect, that the devil had to bow. Jesus, in my name shall you cast out devils. In my name. The hands on the sick. And this is what the word of God teaches us here. So he so said, you call him name Jesus, Joseph, because he's going to save his people from, this, from their sin. And I thank God I got to save it to save me from my sin. I thank God for it. Listen to it. Listen to uh, Romans 10. Romans 10, verses uh, 13. That's that one verse there. Romans 10, verses 13. Listen. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Hear this? He said, call him Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Romans 10, 13, 10, for whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Why? Because he is a Savior. God has sent him here, his son here, to be a Savior of the world, to save us from our sin. Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord. So, man, this ain't no lie. This is, this is the written word of God. And whosoever shall call upon his name shall, look, I'm trying to get people faith in Jesus, be your trust up in Jesus. I don't care who you are, build your faith and trust up in Jesus. The Bible says, and the Bible ain't no lie. The Bible says, Jesus, do not lie. Can't lie. Whosoever call upon the name of Jesus, man, God got this thing already planned. Before the foundation of the world, God planned all, he's already had the thing planned out. If you will believe on him, his son that he have sent. If you confess on him, believe on him, and you call upon his name, he said, Thou shall, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I believe this. Man, I'm going to call. I'm not looking on my works or what I do, how great I am, man, who I, I, I'm, I'm calling upon the name of so the Bible say, whosoever call upon this name. He said, come, the saver from my sin, folks. You can't save yourself from your sin. Ain't nothing you can do out there. Thank God that cleanse you from your sin. It's, it's got to be through Jesus Christ. It's got to be through the blood of Jesus Christ. It's got to be through what he done, who he is. It's got to be through him. Man, you can't earn this thing. 
The Bible said the angel told Job, said, listen, call him Jesus, because he's going to save his people from their sin. And whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Oh, we strive to live right. We strive to do right. We strive to please Jesus. Let me tell you something. The Bible says, ain't no salvation in nobody else. It ain't no salvation in your works. You know, it ain't no salvation in what you do. Salvation come through Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. But we strive, we pray. The Bible tells us, lay aside your weight and sin that's easily beset us. And we strive to do that. The Bible tells us that in Corinthians, look, cleanse yourself from all fitness of the flesh and of the spirit, perfecting the holiness and the fear of God. We try to do it. We do that. We try because he asks us to. But you know what? Salvation. Come through Jesus. So whosoever call upon the name of the Lord, the Bible says, it shall be saved. I'm sending a Savior. Man, they had all them laws and rituals and stuff back there before Jesus came. You know, they had all them oxes and doves and pigeons and all they had all that stuff you do, you know. Before Jesus came, but it didn't save people. It didn't happen. It just something they were going by. Something they were had to or some kind of thing they had to go by until, until God sent his son. Made like made under like unto a woman. Made under about a woman. His son. So all that stuff was back there, but it didn't do no good. Jesus. And the Bible said, look at it, ain't another name. That's why God said, I'm going to send this, my son that I have born of a woman. You know? But they're going to save you from their sin. Salvation, folks. It's in Jesus. Christ. Whatever you do, don't lose your trust. Don't, you hold on to Jesus. You, you, if you ain't moving forward, you cleave to Jesus. I'm telling you. I, I, this don't mean, this might, may not mean uh, much to a lot of people. But I'm telling you, Jesus is your way. He's your truth. He's your deliverance. He's your very present help in time of trouble. And whosoever call. Why, why did I put that on there? Whosoever call. Why, folks? Because God sent his son. The Bible said God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Thank God because God sent his son in the world to save the world from their sin. So he said, if you call upon him, whosoever call upon this name that I have sent shall be saved. If you believe on him whom I have sent, you shall be saved. Call upon this man's name. He said, you shall be saved. We don't run around in the streets and try to do all this old evil and ungodly stuff. Don't believe in it. Matter of fact, when the Lord stepped in my room in the afternoon and uh, told me, say, you're free. You don't have to do it no more. Oh, I was out there doing stuff. And he told me, I was free. And uh, you heard me say, he walked up to my room and, and right in this, right in this uh, left ear. Le walked in his left ear. Stood up uh, maybe four or five feet above. Above the floor. And told me I was free. And this ain't no madness stuff. This this is not no. The Lord actually spoke. This ain't no. I know people say stuff that man. You know, God said this. Uh uh. This is act. I, I heard this boy. Just like a, a, last year sometime, and maybe if I don't remember now, but he, he, when he spoke to me, he said, "Listen, here. stand your ground. Shame me off." I heard that voice. I heard that voice. Stand your ground. Shame me off. This ain't no madness stuff. He spoke in that same left ear. Stand your ground, Jamie Austin. I believe it. I, I tell you, cleave to him. Man, salvation is coming to him. Deliverance is coming to him. And I've been trying to stand my ground. I ain't been that strong all the time, but you know what? I've been standing my ground. I've been trying to stand my ground. I've been trying to cleave to Jesus and confess him. And folks, this ain't no imagination. I heard that voice. He spoke to me. It is, it's one thing I know. I know he spoke to me. And told me, say, stand your ground, call my name, stand your ground, chain me Austin. That's what he spoke to me. And I've been trying to stand. Right so the Bible said, who said, and folks, I call upon him. I call upon this man for everything. All my needs, I call upon him for everything. I need him to be with me. I'm striving to trust that name. I'm wanting to trust that name. Listen, this is what Colossians. Remember, the Bible says, who said, call upon the name of the Lord, shall be saved. Acts 4 says, it ain't another name under heaven. Salvation ain't nobody else but Jesus. Listen, Colossians 2. 
verses 8 through 10. It's to beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rudiment of the world, and not after Christ. But in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. This is what Paul said. In him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, because there is not another name. The angel told Joseph, listen here, call the name Jesus, because he's going to save his people from their sin. The Bible says, in him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Why are we going to trust in anything else? Where are we going to look to anything else? Why would we put confidence in anything else or anybody else? All the fullness of the Godhead dwells in this man, Jesus. And so why we, 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 we don't need to let this devil deceive us and cause us to put our eyes on your position, your reputation, your bank account, your clout, whatever you got going for you. You better take your eyes off of that stuff. Because all the fullness of the Godhead, all our help is going to be through Jesus Christ. Listen, for in him dwell all the fullness of the Godhead. Listen, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and power. The Bible says we are complete in him. Don't need nobody. You don't need Buddha. You don't need Krishna. You don't need none of these things. We're complete in him. You're complete in, complete in Jesus Christ. Man, he, he, the Bible says he decreed that he declared the ending from the beginning. All this stuff, Jesus ain't jumping up and, and making plans. He ain't planned it. All this stuff has already been declared. Everything already been declared. The way has already been made. He has paved out the way and have laid the foundation. Jesus ain't trying to figure stuff out as he go. He already got this stuff laid. The foundation already got it made. And he said, we are complete in him, folks. Strive to stay in Jesus. Man, just I often tell people, listen, if you fall, fall in Jesus. Thank God. Don't give up on Jesus because you fall. Let your face stick to Jesus. I done messed up and I'm still looking to you. I'm looking to you to pull me out of this. I'm looking for you to help me. Because my faith is to you, my trust in you. My flesh, I got weak, I stumble, but Jesus, my eyes is upon you. We're complete in him. All the fullness of the Godhead dwells in Jesus' body. There is a spirit out there trying to turn people away from Jesus. There's a spirit out there offering people other stuff than Jesus. You know? But Jesus is playing to tell us if I be lifted up. And when you have lifted up, son of man, then you know that I'm him. Because he's going to, he said, man, I, I, you don't. People when I said teach everybody, every man to know, know me, all gonna know me. When we make it to their sins and their transgressions, I'm gonna blot them out. All gonna know me. Because he has been murphy to all our sins, every one of us. You know. I, I, I mentioned something I believe. Look back on your life a week, two weeks, three weeks, a month, and see how much falling you did, how much stunning you did. You know. And he's been merciful to you. Call him Jesus, because he's gonna be he gonna save his people from their sin. Call him Emmanuel, as you said. Which in turn is God with us. Let me tell you something. Jesus is God with us. All the power. The Bible says he is heirs of all things. One scripture says Jesus is heir, and I, I spoke on this once before. The Bible says Jesus is heir, he's the heir of all things. In other words, he's the heir to all of the power of God. All of the faith of God, all oh man, the love of God, all the mercies of God, all the patience of God, all the understanding of God. He's heir up to all things. So we are complete in him. All the fullness of the Godhead dwells in Jesus' body. And he's the heir of all things. In other words, all the power, all the authority, all the anointing, all the love, the patience, the long-suffering, the kindness, the gentleness, all of this stuff. Is in Jesus, dwell in him bodily. And we are complete in him. That we will be hid in him, wrapped up in him. And I told you last week, I believe, I believe this is my own personal belief now, that that secret place that we can dwell is in Jesus. It has to be because we're complete in him. All the power, we be in Jesus Christ, all the power is in his hand. And we're complete in him. 
Who's ever called upon this man's name shall be saved, the Bible say. And I thank God for the name of Jesus. Man, I, I try to encourage you and strengthen you to don't let no spirit come up on you. I know people leave you. They go to Muslim. They go to Jehovah's Witness while they acknowledge Jesus. And, and, and sad to say, there's some supposed to be Christian people that don't put no emphasis on Jesus Christ. I heard brother, I heard brother Freddie said last night, I believe that he called this guy a name. He said, you know, you call minister name, but I, I didn't hear that. But I said, Lord, man, how can you say somebody interviewed him? Oh, Joel Osteen asked him, can you, do you believe you can uh, be saved do some other way uh, than Jesus? He, he said, well, he ain't going to answer that. He ain't going to say that. When, won't, won't, won't own up to it. Him will be a preacher of the gospel. Know the Bible probably better than a lot of other people. But he, and the Bible said, salvation is only in the name. And he said, well, I ain't going to say that. I ain't going to. This is what I'm hearing. He said, I ain't going to say that. I like this one. Answer, I ain't going to respond to that. Man, you're ashamed of it. And the Bible tell you, you, you can't get to God but through Jesus Christ. Told us that ain't no man come to the Father but by me. Then how, how come you're afraid to say you can't get to God no other way. You can't get to heaven no other way but through the name of Jesus Christ. My God, man. I mean, I don't know. God may have slapped inside of his spirit and he don't even know it yet, but you know, Jesus, listen. Jesus, this, God said, this is the man I've sent. The Bible says in John 4, I, God is the spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and truth. He will manifest. The Bible says he manifests in the flesh. <laughs> Seen of angels. Preach to the Gentile. Lifted up into heaven. He's God with us. Emmanuel, he's God with us. But Jesus, God with us. We don't, Jesus told us one scripture, no man knows the Father except the Son. And who said the Son revealed him to, manifest him to? Nobody knows the Father. Jesus, this is Jesus. No man knows the Father except the Son. And to whom the Son will reveal him to? The people around say they know God. Jesus telling him, no man knows the Father. Save the Son. Except him and who he revealed him to. But on terms of me and my Father one. That authority, that that authority, that power, that if we're one, God is spirit and Jesus reflected one time that he said we are one, but they in the Bible, how can two walk together said to be in agreement? Thank God. Let me read on a little bit. All the fullness of the God that Colossians say dwells in Jesus. Body. Where did I stop already? Yeah, and you are complete in him, which is the head of all prince of power. Listen to Roman 8. Roman 8. Y'all just bail on me a few minutes. I pray that you listen. I pray that you... I'm trying to get you, make sure you get steadfast, get anchored. There's a deceiving spirit that's spoken that there. You know that old devil, those Satan up there, he deceived a third part of the angels. I mean, he, he, he got a message. He got a message. He got a word. He got a message. He got a deceiving spirit. To know how to deceive the Bible. The Bible said that Satan was going forth and Peter as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. But I said, Jesus, don't let him be in that position where he can devour. But he's seeking whom he can devour. He's seeking somebody to lie to. He's seeking somebody to deceive. And he got a, and he got a good story. Man, he got a good liar. He got a good story. He can speak. He got it all together. Know how to speak and know how to deceive you. And he's seeking for somebody he can't. I said, God, don't let him. Be, he, he's seeking somebody he can devour. Said, God, don't let him devour us. Don't let us be in that place where we can be devoured by the live Satan. He deceived a third part of the angels of that. But that light had. But let me tell you something. So he's it's a spirit out there. And he's trying to pull everybody away from Jesus. And Joel Osteen, I don't know why he would say that he ain't gonna answer that. He won't say that he won't say that Jesus is the only way. Something wrong with this man. And something wrong with this man. And if he's saved, he got saved through Jesus. Listen, Romans 8, verse 28. I've been reading 28 through 31. 
And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. To them that, to them who are the call according to his purpose. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestine to be conformed to the image of his son. He said, we have been predestined to be conformed to the image of that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Listen, moreover, whom he did predestine, them he also called. And whom he called, them he also justified. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Listen, what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for us. If God be for us. He said, listen now, I'm sending my son to save my people, save his people from their sin. If God be false, who can be against us? God said, listen now, I'm sending my son to be the savior of the world. I am sending him. And if he, folks, if he be for us, who can be against us? Nobody be against us. And I said, that was the name of God. He said, ain't no another name in heaven. That was the whole name that God sent this name from heaven up there. Jesus, matter of fact, told me in one scripture, I've declared your name unto them that you've given me. I've declared and I will declare. And Jesus, God said, I have exalted you. I lift you up. I have done it. And I will do it. So the Bible said, if God be false, then he predestined. If God be for who can be against us? So I'm, look, who can be against you? You don't let that devil see you. If you stand for Jesus and exhort him, acknowledge him, and God says, if I'm for you, who can be against you? So I'm sent my son. Thank God to save you. I'm sent my son to shed his blood, to be beaten, humiliated, and spit on him. Uh, for you, to save you, for your salvation. Make no difference who else say what they want to say. Who can be against you? If I'm for you, who can be against you? Man, I've sent my choices down. I've sent my very best down there. So I'm for you. So who can be against you? You've been predestined, foreordained, chosen. Folk, let me tell you, don't forget that, please. You've been predestined, foreordained, chosen. You look at our, we look at ourselves and think, well, man, how can I? That's what Mary said, Lord, how can these things be? I know not a man. God said, what? The angel told us, what? The Holy Ghost. It's going to overshadow you, man. I don't know no man. I never, how can anything be? Then I'm going to bring forth this child. I know not a man. And man, that, the, the man of the Spirit of God said, listen, a Holy Ghost is going to overshadow you. How can anything be that we are predestined? Lord, look at our life. That, that ain't got nothing to do with it. He said, you have been predestined for ordained. God knew who we are, what we were, and what we're going to be. He's but yet and still, I have ordained you. I have predestined you. Told us then, John, that you ain't chosen me, but I have chosen you. 15, I believe. You ain't chosen me and I've chosen you and ordained you that you should go. So who can be, for, if God be for us, the Bible says, what shall we say then to the thing? If God be for us, who can be against us? Who shall lay anything to the charge of God lay? He's given us this name. Man, he, he loves you. I mean, he, he's, he's for you. I mean, he, he's for you. I mean, he's for you. I mean, he knew how to go down way that we were going to have, but he's going to help us in that. The Bible said we'll strive. He'll help us in that. He'll deliver us. And I, I, I say that I believe everything that we don't get the big road, Jesus will help us. He'll help us. If he don't help us get the big road, then he'll make the difference up. He'll make up for it. He'll forgive us. As I spoke Sunday, he'll hide the mother tooth of sin, the love of God. Hide the mother tooth. Work is no ear. Thank God. If God be false, all you want to know is Jesus on your side. If Jesus is for you, if he's for you, I don't care if you go through hell and high water. If Jesus is for you, he's ain't going to leave you. I'll never leave you. I won't forsake you. I'll be with you always, even to the ends of the earth. And I thank God. If Jesus is for you, folks, God said, I'm sending my son for you. Save you from your sin. Jesus, listen. And the, and the Bible tells us then, Isaiah, 
my word ain't coming back to me, boy. It's going to accomplish whatever. If I send my son down there, the man that saved you from your sin, that's exactly what's going to happen. Jeremiah said, listen here, God watches over his word to perform it, to make it good. I watch over my word. Man, God's going to watch over his word to make it good. If he said, I've sent my son to save you, that's what's going to happen. If we don't reject him, we got the man get in a place where we are not reject Jesus. We're not deny him. And his word will not come back, boy. He'll save us. Jesus will save us. That's what he come for. And when he went to the cross, just before he died, he said, Father, it's finished. It is finished now. It is, I done, I done, man, I done fulfilled all your will. And it is finished. And the Bible says, Laid his head in the locked shoulder, he gave up the ghost. Only to go down there in the grave and to free all of those. That, see, they had to they had to hear Jesus. Even when they preached to the spirits in prison, they had to hear Jesus. Listen, folks. They had to hear Jesus. Ain't another name under heaven given. There wasn't no salvation through nobody else. He had to go down there. They had to hear Jesus. He said, he had to go down in the grave and preach to those spirits in prison. They had to hear. He was the door. No man come to the Father but by me. He had to go down there and preach to those spirits in prison. Thank God he said, if I'm for you, if I'm for you, who can be against you? If we have Jesus on our side, if we'll accept him. And Jesus said, I'll be for you. If long you fit for me, I'll be for you. If you be for me, I'll be for you. Now, we may have our struggles, let me tell you something. Having a struggle don't mean that you don't love Jesus. Don't mean that you don't confess Him. Don't mean that you don't believe in Him. Because we have our struggle. But you know, in the midst of our struggles, we still try to cleave to Him. In the midst of our trial, we still try to cleave to Jesus, you know. Go on to Him. Somebody said, boy, you really Jesus fanatic. I want to be. I want to be a Jesus man. Because I don't believe no, no other help out there. He told Paul, and knocked Paul off that horse. Paul said, who are thou? Lord, he said, I'm Jesus whom thou persecuted. I'm Jesus whom thou persecuted. The Paul, what you doing out there? You persecuting me. I'm Jesus whom thou persecuted. He said, Paul, it's hard for thee to kick against the prick. I'm Jesus whom thou persecuted. If God be for you, don't forget that. If God be for you, make no do what you're going through now. Ain't no idea what kind of struggles you have, what kind of trials you have, what kind of tests you're going through. The Bible tells us in Psalm 34, I believe that uh, 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 many are the affliction of the righteous. But the Lord delivereth out of them all. That is the word of the Lord. Many are our afflictions. But we got this promise. All the promise of God is yea. It's yea. Not yea, it's no, but yea. He said, looking at all men are your fleet, but I'm going to deliver you out of all, every one of them. I'll deliver you. I will deliver you. I was going to read a Corinthians. I might read that Corinthians later on. Where he said, all his promises, yes, yes, and, and no no's in it. Listen, uh, Matthew 7. Matthew 7, listen to But let, let me let me go back to this. I had this. I was going to get this down. We get back to man. Let, listen to 1 Corinthians. I believe it's uh, 7 Corinthians 1. And uh, then I get back to this. 2 Corinthians 1, listen to what it says here. Now give me a minute to get it. I didn't have this marked off here, but. Second one. Verses uh, 18 through 20. Listen. If I can ever get it. Second Corinthians verse 18 to 20. But as God is true, our word towards you was not yea and nay. You would Paul saying it? But as God is true, our words towards you was not yea and nay, but the Son of God. Jesus Christ, who was preached among you by us, even by me and and Sylvania and the Timothus, was not yea and nay, but in him was what? Yes. 
Paul said, what nay and yea? What yes and no? But all his promise in him was yes. Listen, for all the promise of God in him are yes. All the promise of God. He said, man, and men are your affliction, but I will do it. All his promises is yes. I do it. I will help you. I will be with you. I will sustain you. I will strengthen you. All his promises is yes. And in him, amen, to the glory of God the Father. Thank you, Jesus. Matthew 7. I want to get that back in the head. I didn't write it down, but I had it. Listen, Matthew 7. And y'all give me a, I got a few, few more minutes. Matthew 7, listen. All of Jesus' promises are yes. Are yes, listen. Matthew 7 and 7 through 12. Ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. What are you saying? All this promise is yes. Yes. Ask, shall be given you. Seek, ye shall find. Not, it shall be open unto you. For everyone that asketh, it, receive it. And he that seeketh, find it. And to him that knocketh, it, it shall be open. Yes. His promise is yes. Not yes and no. Yea, yea. Or uh, what man, listen, right now, what man is there among you whom his son shall ask, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? If ye then being even know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father which is in heaven give good things unto them that ask him? Therefore all things whatever you men would, that men should do to you, do you also, do you to even to them so like that this, the law of the prophet, all his promise is yes. Acts, he said, and I said yes. Knock and I open the door for you. Seek and I, I, you'll find it. And I thank God for that. And I thank God. You no know, day I talked to somebody, somebody come in and call no name because they may not want me to mention it, I don't know. But if you do, I talk to them, I didn't ask them about it. But I, I, I talked to them and you know, they called me for prayer, and, and then it, it ended up, man, they was God sent to me today. Called me for prayer, and I talked with them, prayed with them. And we got some kind of way down to come say, I got to go back down tomorrow, and I got to go in and get my tag. My tag expired. You remember, some of you that were chased on heard me mention about uh, 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 police pulled me over, but they didn't give me a ticket because my tag expired. But they hadn't sent me a, a renewal thing out. So it went by yesterday, man, that line so long, I guess I had about 60, 70 people that played with food, and about 30 some people lined up down the wall, and I said, Lord, I can't, I can't stand about that. I can't stand in that line. I can't, I, I can't do it. Went downtown the same way. Come back by in Whitehaven the same way. Still like that. And I said, I said, we would just try it again. So I made my mind, where we're going to, I'll be able to go down there and win. And listen to them, folks. Acts, you shall be given. And I was telling my son, I said, man, I had somebody that could just uh, could go in to get that stuff for me. Uh, you know, that I knew working there. And we just talking on the phone this morning. He said, brother, also listen, I, I, we can get that for you. No, we, we can get it for you. I said, what? I said, we can get it for you. It ain't going to take long. We can go right in there and get it. I said, can you do that? Just give us your license plate number. Man, I gave my license plate number. And I said, ain't going to take but a minute. And I don't know what they've done, but they went in there just, just, just a few seconds, just, just walked right on back in the back there. And man, and gave my number. They gave them my license plates. Come on back out of there. But it didn't take no time at all. Then I had to wait on line. Then I had to get behind nobody. Went in there and got that. And they called and said, well, we got them. I said, well, praise God. I said, you're a God saint. Praise God, man. I got my license plate. And I said, listen, I'm ready to work. So I said, don't worry about that. So let Jesus take care of that. Man, got my license plate. I didn't have to go and get no line. Didn't have to pay for them, man. They paid for my license plate. When I picked them up, man, I ain't had to leave home to get that. Man, ain't God as good. Let me, this Jesus, I tell you. I mean, Jesus, man, it's Jesus. You can't beat him. Man, went out there and got him for me, and I didn't have to pay a dime. So don't worry about that. We just let Jesus take care of it. That's what praise God. Use a God sent. I won't call no name now. I talk to him, I find out. But God said, ask. I said, Lord, I wish I had somebody. I thought if I had somebody that knew somebody working that place that I could maybe get in Terry. Because, man, I can't stand like that long. It just can't. 
But thank God, Jesus, I'm for you. He said, if I'm for you, who can be against you? I'm for you. I'm more than the world. Jesus knew. Man, he knew our thought. He knew our desire. And he had the thing set up. He said, I decreed the ending from the beginning. God knew what he was going to do. I didn't. I tell him, figure out, wait, Lord, let me get up and go down to me about 6, 6, 37, where I could be down the first in line. We had to do all that standing up and waiting. The man God had a ram in the bush already for me. All his promises, yay, yay. And then, folks, on top of that, didn't have to pay a dime. They said, well, just let Jesus take care of that. I said, glory to God. God bless you. And that's something, folks. And somebody go get your stuff for you, and then, don't, then, you know, don't cost you a dime. Man, I love him. I appreciate him. He didn't have to do it, but he did. And I thank God for him. Listen, action this shall be given. All the problems of God is yes, yes, yes. Pause are not yes, nay, but yes, yes. It shall be, listen, I, I, I got that wrong by whosoever called on. Look, look what Mark. Mark 9, 23. Now I got one more script out there, and I'll be letting you go. I hope you appreciate the word of God tonight. I, you know, I'm going to send Jesus. He's going to be a savior. He's going to save his people from their sin. That's not come out preaching, because I need my sin forgiven. I need him to help me. This is Mark 9, 23. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible. You know, the one Jesus delivered his, old, his, old, his body had a, a dumb spirit. Cut itself, gnash on itself, you know. And they said, if we came to your disciples, they couldn't do it. He said, if thou can't do anything, can I do anything? Jesus said, if thou can't believe, all things are possible. We got to believe, folks, that all things is possible with Jesus. Everything, all the power in heaven and earth is in Jesus' hand. All the fullness of the Godhead is in Jesus. If thou can't believe, Oh, it ain't nothing, ain't nothing out there impossible if you can believe it. Nothing impossible. Somebody, boy, you preaching crazy. I don't care. Let me preach crazy. But ain't nothing impossible out there. I was talking to somebody there. I said, with God, all things are possible. I don't care what people say. With Jesus, all things are possible. Jesus ain't worried about what people say and what they pronounce and all this stuff. I said, they have no effect. The Bible said we have limited the whole one of Israel with our unbelief. I said, all things are possible with Jesus. I know the devil tried to put all this stuff out front of us in our way where we can look at that, get our eyes off of Jesus, get our eyes off who he is and what he can do, and get our eyes on the circumstance and the situation like that. Said, but God ain't limited to man knowledge. God ain't limited to man wisdom. God is not limited to man ability. He's not a limit to that. Thank God. He's God alone. Thank you, Jesus. God alone. All this promises, yea, yea. And folks, if Jesus be for you, who can be against you? Thank you, Jesus. I thank God for it. Listen, one more scripture here. I'm going to be letting you go. St. John 6, we quote that a lot, but I'm going to read it. St. John 6, 37 through 40. We use that a lot because I believe it. And it's still good. You know, the word of God is, the Bible says, ever sell. You know, it don't make no difference how many times you read it, how many times you quote it. It's ever sell. It's still good. It's still work. And I went to the, I went to the uh, post office one day and I, I got some stamps. I said, give me a, I said, give me a book of 20 stamps, please. So said, I had all different kinds in there and they said, she said, would you, would these kind of be right? You know, you got different people's, got different people's, uh, a heads on them stamp, you know, different ones. You know? So she said, but, but, but this, these kind of be right? As long as it work. As long as them stamp work. I don't care who's over there. As long as they work. And she kind of laughed. Said, yeah, they work. Said, but they, they good then. Jesus words still work. It's still good. It's still good. I don't care how, how, how many people use it. I don't care how often it's been used. You cannot wear this word of God out. You can't make it none effect. You can't disannul it. You can't use it up. You just can't use this word up. You can use this word. You can't use it up. It's kind of like I got this 
car wash and I got this car wash deal and I go through the car wash and I pay so much a month. They say, you can use this thing. I can go through that car wash three times a day. Every day. Four times a day. Every day if I want to. I ain't going to charge me a penny more. That be the word of God is. I ain't going to use that membership up. You know, I can just go through that thing four, five, six, ten times a day if I want to. I ain't going to use that membership up. That's the, that's the way the word of God is. They ain't going to charge me another penny more. The way the word of God, you can't use the word of God up. You can use it, use it, and use it, and use it. You cannot use the word of God up. You know, it won't wear out. Won't, you can't use it up. So listen what John 6, verse 37 to 40. Thank you, Jesus. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast him out. Now that, that's good to read. And that's good to hear. That's good to read. We need to, we need to, uh, man, we need to kind of, uh, uh, I guess, rehearse that within us. All that the Father give me coming to me. And him that comes to me, I will know why. We need to read that over and over again because sometimes the devil fights us so. Sometimes that devil man put you in a, try to put your mind in a, a down place, a melody, and we need to read the scripture all that. And sometimes the devil put a stumbling block in your way and cause you made to kind of stumble a little bit or fall. We need to read the scripture. Jesus, all that come unto me, I will know why I cast them out. All that the Father give me. We need to read that. And this is the confidence to us. This kind of uh, reassure us that all man through let say all that come to me, all you that labor in the heaven labor, come unto me. So I find you get rest. I give you rest. You find rest for your wheels. My yoke is easy, and my burdens are light. But we come to Jesus, folks. He is the answer. And I pray God don't ever let me get tired of exalted. But listen, for I came down, verse thirty. If I came down from heaven, not to do my own will, but the will of Him that sent me. And this is the Father will which has sent me, that of all which he has given me, I shall lose nothing, but shall raise it up again at the last day, if Jesus be for us. And this is his will. This is the will of him that sent me. This is what Jesus said. This is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believed on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. Everyone that believe on him, that seeth the Son and believed on him, shall have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. God said, I'm sending my Son, that whoever believe in him shall not pray, but have everlasting life. I told Joseph, Joseph, listen here. Don't be ashamed to take man for your wife, because that thing is conceived is of the Holy Ghost. And so when he's born, he should call his name Jesus because he's going to save his people from their sin. Jesus, all that the Father give me, come unto me. And he had come there, I would not cast him out. This is the Father's will. That them that see me and believe on me shall have everlasting life. Folks, believe on Jesus. Believe on Jesus. You know, Jesus prays the Father. I pray not for these only. But I pray for all those that should believe on me through their words. You know? This is a prayer. One scripture tells us that, listen here, the affection, fervent prayers of a righteous person will avail his mercy. You hear that? The affection, fervent prayers of a righteous person will avail his mercy. Listen, and Jesus prayed for her. He prayed to the Father. He's a Father. I'm not praying for these only. These fathers of mine here, these apostles. These, I'm not praying for these only, but I pray for all of those that Believe on me through their words. Let me tell you something. That affects your prayer of a righteous. You can't get no right in Jesus. And he prayed. He said the, the righteous prayer of Bellis Merch. That prayer that Jesus prayed is a Bellis Merch. He said, I pray for them that believe on me through their words. Man, that's a prayer they've been prayed for. Jesus himself prayed that prayer for us. So I pray for them, not for these only. But for all of those that are going to believe on me through their words, man, the effective, fervent prayer of a righteous prayer, this mercy, that was a righteous prayer that Jesus himself prayed, pray for us. He's already prayed for us. Thank God. It's going to be well. 
Thank God it's going to be well, folks. I thank God for it. Come on, give me a hand and pray with you. We appreciate the Lord. I, I thank God for you. Look, let's, let's, let's just keep on up in prayer. Keep these cheery, these grandchildren. Keep you jumping up in prayer. They got to somewhere to touch them. Get them back to the house of God. Give them start to acknowledging Jesus and, you know, giving them some kind of thanks. Some kind of prayer. Father, thank you tonight. Holy Savior of the world. Mighty Master of heaven and of earth, Lord, I thank you tonight for this mind. I thank you for being a fence. I thank you, Lord, for your, all that you do, Jesus, because sometimes my mind ain't in the place where it ought to be. Lord, I thank you for being God that don't change. I thank you for your mercy, endurance forever. We thank you tonight, Lord, for the ears that listening. Thank you for those that took time out to Sit and listen and bear along with us, Lord. I pray if you let your word be anointed. God, not for no self-glory, not for no man glory. Let it be anointed for the soul, the anointed for the life, the anointed that they can penetrate people, God, they can help them out in their situation. Lord, whether it be physical, spiritual, financial, let this word, God, get in there. Let them receive it. Let them look to you, Jesus. Anoint this word, God, that it can get in there and break up the fallow ground. They can make things anew, make things right. And Father, we thank you for it tonight. In Jesus' name, we pray. Thank God for you, uh, folks. We really appreciate it. I thank God for the business we had, son. I thank God for the blessing. You know, somebody, one of the brothers, I think, maybe some of the sister, Deborah, loved ones, I don't know. And I, I thank God for it. I started to maybe walk up and shook my hand and, you know, put some money in my hand. I believe it's some sister devil and Kim Pope. But anyway, after say that I kinda of opened up and kinda of counted, man, three hundred dollars. I said, Lord, look at that brother, put three hundred dollars in I ain't even know him. You know, God, he said, if I'm for you. And then my brother walked up and said, Yeah, man, this for you. He gave me a ten. I said, God, you might be touching something, man. Your brother give you some money. I said, Lord, thank you. But uh, I appreciate the the business and I preach that I pray God word. I pray the word of God. We taught son of love, and I pray that the Man, I'm for real. I'm sincere. I'm honest about this. I pray, man, that the love of God get in our heart. I pray that God will watch over you, sustain you, that he'll hold you, he'll keep you, he'll keep you covered with the blood. Man, until he's coming, we all, that we can be caught up with him in the clouds and forever be with the Lord. I thank God for I thank God for, for you tonight. We appreciate you. God bless you. Be praying for your brother and sister. Keep me up in prayer that God will walk with me and he'll help me and strengthen me. Pray that he'll visit me with the, whatever, whatever I need. And I thank God for it. Until the next time, until the weekend, those that will be uh, joining us the weekend, until then, may God bless you. Thank God for you.